Hi everybody, welcome to your Path Hacks for Kids. Today we will build a game together, a very simple one called the guessing game. The computer will pick a number and we will have to guess it just by receiving hints if we should go lower or higher. And we will learn something new called while loops or do while loops. So let's start creating our bot. Let's make a new process. Let's call it the guessing game. Let's open the main workflow. And we need to instruct the computer first to choose a number, let's say between one and 10. And it will have to be a different number every time with no logic that we could guess over time in picking that number. That's what is called choosing randomly. So to do that, we can use an assign activity. Let's drag and drop it. We can call this um, computer chooses a number. And we need a variable here. So we press Ctrl K for creating a new variable on the spot. And let's call it int underscore number. Int because it will be an integer, so a number. Let's hit enter. And here to create a random number, we can type in new, then random brackets dot and then next between 1 and 10 for example so the limits between which the computer should choose a number let's hit enter we have an error all right so we have created the variable int number on the spot and when we do that it usually assigns them the type string so let's choose integer here and the error should go away all right, so the computer chose its number. Now the bot needs to ask the player which number does he or she want to choose. So let's use here an input dialog. We can call this um, in quotation marks the guessing game and for the question we can put here guess the number between 1 and 10 for example we want to have a text box in which we can enter the number and then the value entered by the user should be saved somewhere so we can create another variable and we can call this one int underscore guess so we want to save the option of the user in a variable of type we should have here in the 32 as well. So we can change it. All right, and now we have to ask ourselves, did we guess the number or not? And the bot has to check that. So if we need to ask ourselves something, we need to have an if activity. And we can say, what is the condition? If the guessed number so int underscore guess if we hit tab now it will auto choose the first option so if int underscore guess equals the int underscore number chosen by the computer it means we have guessed the number we were just lucky and we guessed it from the first try so we can have here a message box for example, and we will inform the user that they have guessed the number. So we say, congrats, you guessed 
the number and we can uh, also say what the number was, it was and then we put a plus to concatenate and we put here the guest number which was equal to the one chosen by the user and because uh, this is an integer we have to say to string and this makes the number a string so we can show it here in the message box all right and let's click on show else so what if they are not equal and now obviously we didn't guess the number but the bot has to give us some hints do we need to go higher or lower otherwise it will take us quite a long time to guess the number so in this case we need another if condition right we have to ask ourselves now did we go higher or lower compared to the number chosen by the bot so we can say here if um, our guest number is higher than the one chosen by the computer then we can put some other message boxes and if it was higher then we have to go lower with our guess so we can say you did not guess the number try again lower and we can make it a bit smaller to see it better and for else we can say try again higher so if the guest number is lower than the number chosen by the computer then we have to try again and go a bit higher with our guess okay so we have tried once to guess it if we were lucky the game ends if not then we have to try again to guess and the problem is here I don't know how many tries I will need in order to guess the number so I need some kind of a loop to go again and choose a number and compare it with the one chosen by the computer see if I guessed it and then go again maybe a third time maybe a fourth time and so on and to solve these kind of problems there is something called a while loop or a do while loop and the difference between them is the while loop first checks a condition and then does something so if we drag and drop it here we have a condition first and then we do something whereas the do while loop first does something and at the end checks the condition and it will keep executing these instructions here in the body as long as the condition is true and we need first to make our first guess and then check if we got it right or not so it's better to use the do while in this case instead of the while loop so what we need to do now um, we need to check and compare something and then know if we guessed it or not so we can just drag and drop this inside the body here and we can drag and drop this if inside the body here as well and now everything is wrapped inside this do while activity so basically we are asking the user for his or her guess then we are doing our checks and then we need to know if we have to go further or not and for that we would need another variable to tell the bot if we have guessed or not the number so we can use an assign activity and here if we did guess the number we can create a variable called bool underscore guest this needs to be of type boolean that means basically yes or no and here we can say true so if we have guessed it we put this variable guessed on true and if not then we need to enter a similar one after the if here and say bool guest 
we have to change here the scope of the variable because we can't we can't see this one we have to go higher with it um, and the reason for that is if we created a variable here in this sequence it is only visible here so it is not visible in this sequence and what I just did now by changing here the scope was I moved it for this high level sequence to the full sequence to the full program and now it is also seen here and in this case we say false so we did not guess what was the number and at the end for the condition we say we want to go through this loop and keep guessing as long as this variable is on false basically so to do that we say not bool guessed right so as long as it is not guessed then we have to go again and ask the user with this input dialog again for a new number and then check again the condition is it equal yes then we stop if not then we have to keep guessing and that should be it. So let's try to save and play the game. Let's run this. So guess a number between 1 and 10. Let's choose 5. I didn't guess, but I have to go lower. So I would choose 3. I have to go lower. I choose 2. I didn't guess. I have to go lower. I choose 1. And there it is. I guessed it. Let's play again. I will guess now three. I didn't guess the number, but I have to try again. Higher, I will put a six. I have to go higher, I'll put eight. I have to go higher, I will put 10. Lower, and the number must be nine. This is our program. This is how we can play this game. And that was it. We have built a simple guessing game we can now play with the computer. And we have learned something new, the do-while loops, that allows us to repeat a certain set of actions until a certain condition is met. I would very much appreciate if you shared with me how you liked or disliked this video. It will help me get better at this and hopefully create better ones next time. If you liked it, please hit the like button. This tells YouTube that this video is worth showing to others as well. And spread the word among your friends about what you are learning here. Stay curious and see you next time.